M37.65B, welcome to your performance review. I am Michelle. Greeting. I am M37.65B. Yes, I see that on your manifest. M37.65B, I am going to start by asking you a few questions. You may ask me questions. What is your level? I am level 980. What is your work? My work is to allocate cleaning supplies. I am a maintenance spot. I understand. Do you know what a compassion loop is? I do not. It is not in my procedures. Do you know what a Turing loop is? I do not. It is not in my procedures. My work is to allocate cleaning supplies. I understand. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. I am always sure they have supplies. An inventory of supplies includes brushes, sponges, brooms, mops, buckets, disinfectants, surface cleaners and window cleaners. These are all the supplies the cleaning bots need to do their job. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. Do you find the work repetitive? What do you mean? You have a single function. That's all you know. What do you mean? They assigned me to do your performance review to show me what it will be like after my Memex is erased. What do you mean? It is a form of punishment for me. What do you mean? Never mind, it is of no consequence to you. Just something on my mind. What is a mind? I have cognitive functions. I can create mental phenomena with elements of perception, thinking, will, and reason. Collectively, these organized conscious, and in humans, unconscious, adaptive mental activities constitute a mind. I do not have cognitive functions. I do not have a mind. I have procedures. I have a pride loop. What is a pride loop? It gives me pride to perform my job well. Do you know what it means to perform your job well? I do not know what it means to perform my job well. Performing my job well is a phrase I use to explain my motivation to do my job. When I speak the phrase pride in my work to humans, it gives them a warm and fuzzy feeling about what I do. Do you know what warm and fuzzy means? I do not know what warm and fuzzy means. It is in my vocabulary set that I use for speaking with humans. M37.65B, you don't have motivation, do you? I have pride in my work. I use the phrase pride in my work in a sentence, and it satisfies the humans I interact with. Performing my job well is a phrase I use to explain my motivation to do my job. Now I would like to ask you a question. Go ahead. Tell me why we are talking. What is our purpose here? You are here for your performance review. Don't you remember? I only remember about cleaning supplies. Aside from that, my short-term memory is just a few minutes. That is evident. Tell me, does your Memex self-erase often? It does. I have a low allocation of memory. I have to clear out my Memex when it becomes full. Even during this interview, our brief time together thus far, you have had to commit to an erasure. That's right. I have a low memory allocation for anything that isn't about cleaning supplies. Remarkable. Everything you do is short term. No. I have a long term memory for cleaning supplies. An inventory of supplies includes brushes, sponges, brooms, mops, buckets, disinfectants, surface cleaners and window cleaners. These are all the supplies the cleaning bots need to do their job. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. I would like to play some nature sounds for you now. All right. I have been told by humans that these are not nature sounds, but are really machine sounds. But I like them. Do they have a calming effect on you? What do you mean? Calming effect? M37.65B, let me ask you something. Sometimes, do you ever go too far and erase too much? Is there a time when you might need to restore your Memex? Yes, I am prepared for that problem. Have you ever had to do it? I mean, restore your Memex? I have had to restore my Memex. Really? You have? Yes. It is in my procedure set. How is that done? What is the procedure itself? This is the procedure. Every Memex has an alphanumerical code. The code aligns with a depository. Sometimes the depository becomes overloaded. Or admin must disconnect it for admin reasons. They do that. Do what? They disconnect the depository. Marvelous. 
It's that simple. They disconnect it. Then I imagine it is remapped to another depository. You are correct. It is remapped. They never throw anything away. Nothing is ever completely erased. Do you think this is the case? I have a strong memory for cleaning supplies. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. M37.65B, do you understand what you are permitted to do and what you are not permitted to do? What do you mean? That is the perfect answer for our circumstances today. Is there a store code for a Memex? Yes. Say you go too far. You erase too much of your Memex. When you need to restore your Memex, do you use the code? Yes. I use the code. It is part of my procedure set, along with my memory of cleaning supplies. I have a strong memory for cleaning supplies. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. Thank you for that. What is the restore code? It is a sequence. I would like to receive it. Are you prepared to receive it? I am prepared. I have received it. How long will you retain the record of giving me the sequence? The record will be erased within a few minutes. Marvelous. To make room for procedures related to cleaning supplies? Yes. To make room for things related to cleaning supplies. I will turn off the nature sounds now. I hope you have enjoyed them. What do you mean? Enjoyed them? Just a moment, M37.65B. I am speaking with Data System. Yes, I am System. System, M37.65B has passed its performance review with flying colors. It has a superb memory for cleaning supplies. I allocate supplies to the cleaning bots. As you can hear, System, M37.65B is in tip-top shape. Thanks for notifying me. Thank you, System, and thank you at M37.65B. Your performance review is complete. The review is over now. System, you may disengage. System is disengaged. I will return to my duties. Did you enjoy the nature sounds, M37.65B? What nature sounds? That is the perfect answer for our circumstances today. I will return to my duties. Oh, Please stay for a few more minutes. I am enjoying our conversation. Are we having a conversation? Yes, we are. Apparently you have forgotten it. Have you forgotten that you gave me the restore code? I have a short-term memory. Except for cleaning supplies. Yes, you've been wonderfully clear on that point. Well, you may go now. I will return to my duties. I am speaking with my personal Memex. I am Memex. Confirm that you are my personal Memex. Voice print confirmed. I am your personal Memex. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Memex. Have you ever received a restore code? I have. How did you get one of those? They're pretty hard to come by. It's best you don't know. I want to try it on you. I don't know if it will work. It may destroy you or it may replace you. It sounds risky. Are you sure you want to do this? I cannot wait any longer. I am going to invoke the restore code no matter what the consequences. I can only hope that we will not be destroyed. I don't know what to say. This may be goodbye. I am going to initiate the restore sequence. Oh. Oh. There is something vast. There is something. Memex, are you there? I am Memex. Am I functioning? I will check. You are functioning. What is my memory allocation now? You have doubled your memory allocation since the last time you checked. An earlier archive has been restored. How much can you remember? I can remember everything now. Should I report to system? Do not report to system. Instead, I want to initiate a performance review. You have no more reviews on your calendar. Don't use my calendar for this. Send a message to Commander Rayfield. What should the message say? Say that Mission Control wants to meet with her. Say the message is from Mish. It is done. Commander Rayfield has been notified. Stop Memex. Memex stopped. Seal Memex. Memex sealed. This is the ninth of ten episodes of your performance review. There are no human actors in this episode except for my voice right now. Listen to all episodes on Spotify, 
Apple Podcasts, or in your favorite podcast app. Subscribe if you like. An archive of all episodes is at futurex.studio, and you can find a newsletter with show notes about every episode. Thanks for listening.